Now here the question is, there are five students, S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5 in a music class. For them, there are five seats, R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 arranged in a row. When initially the seat RI is allotted to the student SI. But on the examination day, the five students are randomly allotted the five seats. Now find the probability that on the examination day, student S1 gets the previously allotted seat R1 and none of the remaining student gets the seat previously allotted to him or her. Now if S1 goes to R1, there is only one way and none of the remaining four students must get their previously allotted seat. That means we have to dearrange these four students which is done by D4 divided by a total number of ways of arranging these five students in five places. It is factorial five and this is the required probability. Now we need to calculate D4. Now D4 is factorial four, one upon factorial two minus one upon factorial three plus one upon factorial four. Now this is 12 minus four plus one. So it will be 13 minus four, nine. So this probability is nine by 120, which is simply three by 40. And that's your option A. For i equals 1, 2, 3 and 4, let Ti denote the events that student Si and Si plus 1 do not sit adjacent to each other. Now T1 is S1 and S2, they are not adjacent. S2 and S3, they are not adjacent. S3 and S4, they are not adjacent. And S4 and S5, they are not adjacent to each other. So we need to find probability of S1 not sitting adjacent to S2 and S2 not sitting adjacent to S3, S3 not adjacent to S4 and S4 not adjacent to S5. Now here we have to consider certain cases. Now case 1 is when suppose S1 sits at R1. So S1 sits at R1. Now we have to choose possible combinations for remaining chairs R2, R3, R4 and R5. Now since S1 it cannot be adjacent to S2 so R2 can be filled by either S3, S4 or S5. Now S3 it cannot be adjacent to R2 and R4. So that means the only possible combination now here will be this S5. Now S5 cannot be next to S4. So this position it has to be taken up by S2 and then finally it will be this S4. So we have this one combination which is S1, S3, S5, S2 and S4. Now if it is S4 it cannot have S3 and S5 so it will be this S2. Now then it will be this S5 and here we will have S3. So we have this other case here. Now if it is S5 it cannot have S4. Now if it cannot have S4 then there are two possible options for R3 and they are either S2 or S3. Now if it is S2 it cannot have S3 as its partner so then it will be this S4. Now the only option available is S3. Now in this case it violates the condition so it is not possible. Now if it is S3 it cannot have S2 and S4 and these are the ones which are remaining. So in this first case we have only two choices. So for S1 we have only two choices. Now we look at the second case when S2 takes R1. Now if S2 takes R1 then there are two possible options. Either it can be S4 or it can be S5. Now if it is S4 here, now 4 cannot have 3 or 5. So that means the next one has to be S1. And if it is S1, here it could be either S3 or S5. And if it is S3 here, we will have S5 and here we will have S3. So we have two cases here. And if it is S5, it cannot have S4. So we can have either S1 or we can have 
S3. Now, if it is S1, then we are left with S3 and S4. So, if they are placed, they will be placed together. So, we have no possibility here. And if it is S3, then next one will be S1 and then it will be this S4. So, we have three cases. So, it will be these three cases now. Now, if we look at S3, then the options here are either S1 or S5. Now, if it is S1, then we can take S4, S5. And if it is S5, we can take S1, S2. Now, if it is S4, then the next one, it has to be S2 followed by S5. So, we have one case here. If it is S5, then it will be this S2 and S4. Again, this case is possible. Now, if it is S1, then it will be S4, S2. And here it will be this S4 and S1. So, for this third case, we have four possible arrangements. Now, if we look at S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now, the condition for S1 is same as condition for S5. And condition for S2, it is same as condition for S4. And S3 has its condition of its own. So, total number of favorable cases will be this 2 into 2 for S1 and S5 plus 2 into 3 for S2 and S4 plus 4 which is for S3 divided by total number of ways of arranging these 5 students in 5 places which is simply factorial 5. Now this is 6 plus 4 10, 10 plus 4 14, 14 upon 120 which is 7 by 60. So this required probability is 7 by 60 and that's your option C.